clock in, clock in. Black guy that just walked in. I don't need nobody. Only fuck with niggas from around my way. Fuck how you feel about it. I don't know who's stepping for my session, but they still trying to block it. Had to throw the hate up on my necklace. Bitch, I'm trying to stop it. Bitch, I don't even wash my clothes. I ain't never folded. Had to wipe a nigga nose. Team Black got a stun up, man. Yo. All right, y'all. So. Guys, I guess uh, the jury walked in the room right now, man. And Woody is going to be called back on the stand. Y'all seen last video, he really ain't want to testify. But he decided to testify anyway due to the fact that he really ain't had no choice or no option. Because that would have been locked up if he didn't testify. But without further ado, man, let's get to the video. All right, Mr. Copeland, I'm going to remind you that you are still under oath. Go ahead, Miss Hilton. Thank you, Your Honor. Good, good morning. Mr. Copeland... Do you know a person by the name of Shell Cal? Oh, the question's coming in quick. I don't quick. recall. He don't recall. Are you saying you don't recall if you know someone by the name of Shell Cal? That's an answer to her question. Sustain. Do you recall speaking with law enforcement about an individual that you know by the name of Shell Cal? I don't recall. Oh, <clears throat> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going to be a long day. I want to go back to December of 2014 and into January of 2015. Were you present at a gambling house in Lakewood uh, when the shooting occurred? I don't recall. Damn, he don't recall. Nathan. Nothing at all. Let me ask you. <clears throat> also, back in 2015, do you remember being at a Cascade skating ring speaking with an individual by the name of Shell Cow? I don't recall. Back in January of 2015, do you recall being at a um, club, Club Crucial, and getting into a fight with an individual by the name of Shell Cow? I don't recall nothing that happened years ago. Do you recall in January of 2015 having to go to the Atlanta Police Department to talk about a murder, to talk about whether or not you were involved in the murder of an individual by the name of Donovan Thomas Jr.? Say that again. Do you recall in January of 2015 having to go to the Atlanta Police Department to speak about your potential involvement in the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr.? I don't recall. All right. <clears throat> in January, on January 11th, 2015, did you go to the Atlanta Police Department at about 3 o'clock in the morning? I don't recall. Okay. And did you speak with a detective by the name of Detective Thorpe? I don't recall who I speak with. I don't recall. He don't recall. And during that interview, did you go down there to speak with the murder, to speak with him about the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr.? I don't recall. I don't recall who I spoke with. Okay. And in that same interview, did you speak with him about not just the murder of Donovan Thomas, but events that led up to the murder of Donovan Thomas on June 10th, 2000? He don't recall. I'm a liar. So you want me to re remember something that I don't lie about in the past? Like, I, I, I don't know. So my question for you is, did you go to the Atlanta Police Department? Is your response you don't recall? I don't recall. Okay. And during that interview with Detective Thorpe at the Atlanta Police Department, did you provide him your name and your in da date of birth? He don't recall. Huh? When you went to the Atlanta Police Department and met with Detective Thorpe, did you give him your date of birth? When you was born, fam. I don't know. Probably. Okay. And is your date of birth July 25th, 1991? You got to think about that, Val. What? Is your date of birth July 25th, 1991? 
I think. Oh, hell no. Nah. And during this interview, did you tell Detective Thorpe that you also have a middle name of Xavier? I don't, okay. I don't know what I told I don't remember what I told him. Okay. I'm not trying to say the wrong thing so y'all can lock me back up. All right. Well, just bear with me. We're going to go through that interview, okay? Objection to the commentary. Now, disregard the commentary by the witness. Now, during the interview, um, did you speak with Detective Thorpe about the issues you had with a person by the name of Kel? I don't recall. And did you speak with Detective Thorpe about a problem that the two of you all had in the club? Mm, I don't recall. Okay. And did you tell um, Detective Thorpe in that same interview that Kel was Nut's little brother? I don't know if they brothers or not. Okay. So do you know who Kel is? No, I don't recall. Okay. And when I say Nut, is that Donovan Thomas Jr.? Um, you asking me that? I am asking you that. Yeah. Sure. Do you know a person that goes by the name of Nut? I don't recall. Okay. Now, in that same interview, do you did you tell Detective Thor about you and Kel getting into the fight? At Club Crucial. I don't recall. Nothing from 2015, oh. 14, 16, none of that. Okay. And during that same interview, did you um, tell Detective Thorpe that you and Kel had been in a beef for maybe about no longer than four months? And this was back in 2015. And he's still alive? My question is, did you tell Detective Thorpe that you, Michelle Kel, at that time in 2015, had a beef, and it was probably going on around four months at that time. I tell the detective whatever they want me to say, whatever they want to hear, whatever, whatever. So if I said it to them, I said it to them. I don't recall what I said to no police. Okay. And during that same interview, did you tell Detective Thorpe that whenever y'all were in the club, y'all would initially just throw up birds at each other. Huh? In this January 11, 2000 interview, did you tell Detective Thorpe that initially when you and Shell Kel were in the club, y'all never really fist fought. Y'all just would throw up birds at each other. Like I told you, before y'all called me to trial, I have lied. I made things up. I told you this before y'all brought me in this courtroom. And I'm telling you now, you asked me about 2015, I have got my life together. Y'all trying to put this on my conscience. Y'all trying to put people's life in my hands. I don't lie on people. I don't want to be here. Y'all have pressured me. I'm tired of y'all, because y'all know y'all are wrong. And y'all black people doing this to us. And I understand that. Leave me alone. Let me leave. Man, y'all pissing me off. Listen, I don't recall nothing I said to no police. Stop asking me these questions. Okay. I'm telling you, I don't recall. I understand, but we're going to have to get through the questions. You can just continue to say you don't recall if that's what it is. That's what you want me to say? I want you to hey, answer the question. for just a minute. Oh, he's snapping, y'all. I don't think that you were instructing him how to testify. I hope not. But oh, I don't instruct not. him how to testify other than truthfully. Thank you. And Any, all I'm pretty sure that's not what happened, but okay. We're going to act like she didn't tell him to keep saying you don't recall. Okay. We're going to act like we didn't hear that, y'all. But y'all, obviously, this is out of pocket. It's screamly out of pocket. Like, who pants is these? I hope it ain't mine.